Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful super dual bracelet. It's easy to make, it's like a beginner's level tutorial so I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of super dual beads. Here I use 11 o seed beads in green color and this is a magnetic clasp. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back and I'm back and I'm going to start my bracelet by picking up just one 11 o that will be my stopper bead. Okay, this 11 o And I'm going to slide it down. And here what I want to do is go through this bead like this. Once and then a second time. I'm not making a knot here because later I will remove this bead. Okay. And leave a small tail because uh, later I will put my needle on this tail and um, I will finish my work. Okay. So now I will start my first row by picking up one purple super dual, one green bead. One purple super dual, one green bead. One purple super dual, one green bead, one purple super dual, one green bead, one purple super dual, and so on and so on until I have 44 of those beautiful super duels divided by those beautiful seed beads. Okay, now I'm going to slide those down here at my stopper bead and I will continue until I have 44 of those because this is the length of my wrist. If your wrist is bigger, make more beads, but have in mind that you should have even number of beads in order for this bracelet to work. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and now I have 44 super dual divided by seed beads and what I'm going to do next is as I'm exiting here through this last super dual, like this, I will go back through its other empty hole. I'm holding it with my thumb and I'm going back here in this direction with my thread. So I'm exiting here and I'm zigzagging through this bead here. Okay, now I'm going to take white super dual. And I'm going through the following seed bead, through the following super dual. Okay. If it's not very tight, you should tighten this one up like this. You see, it must be tight. Okay, then I take another one and go here. In the next empty hole of my next super dual. You see, this is what I have. Then another one, and I go here. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end. And when I add the last white one between the purple super dues, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am about the end where I'm going to add my last two beads from this row. Okay, this white 
and then I'm going to add the last white bead. Okay. So now I have this. Okay, and as I added this white one, I will show you the whole length. See how it looks. Should flip it in this direction. Okay. Now we will continue with our next row. But in order to do this, what I want to do is reposition my thread. And how, where I want to reposition it. I want to exit out of this bead here, out of its empty hole and in this direction. And how I'm doing it, I go a little bit in this direction through the first two purple beads. Then I go back through the purple and only through the bottom hole of the white bead that is between the two purples. And then I'm going through this empty hole. And then the color that comes next is the green color. I take a green and I go here between those two white beads and I pull. Then again a green one. Go in the next empty hole of the next white. Okay, like this. Then another green and go here. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end. And when I'm ready, when I go at the other part of my bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and as I continue beading, I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last green bead from this row. Okay, so now this is what I have. And what I want to do is reposition my thread again. I want to reposition it to exit out of this hole of this green bead and in this direction. And how I do this, let's say I go first in this direction. Then I go in this direction. Then again here, like this. And here, but only through the bottom hole of this green, not through the white after that. And this is how I do the repositioning. To exit out of this outside hole of the green and now I'm going to continue adding white beads. Okay. I am going to add them until the end of this row And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. Like this. And by the way, what I miss here is another white bead. And I'm going to add it and slide it down to finish this row. And what else I miss to make this green row be even with this purple row is one green. And I'm gonna add it by sliding this down, turning it in this direction, and going through some beads in this direction. And then I wanna go here through this empty hole of this white bead and how I'm doing it. First I go in this direction through the green, then I go through the white 
and I go through the white again here in this direction. And now I'm going to start my blue row. Okay, I'm taking a blue, going here, take another blue, go here, take another one, and maybe you guess what I will do next. I will add blue beads until the end and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last blue bead from this row. I think I should add one more bead, in fact, one more blue bead here, like this. And then what I miss is one white bead. Okay, I'm taking it, sliding it down, turning it in this direction to fill the gap you see. Going like this to fix it. Okay. And don't forget that, that here we need another green. Here between the two whites. You see? My thread is exiting out of this hole now. I take one green. Slide it down like this. And I go through this hole, through its other hole. Okay. Then here, guys, I'm going like this. And what I need is another blue. And I take it, slide it down like this. You see what I have now. And I'm going through its empty hole in the other direction. So I'm zigzagging through this bead. And what I need to take is one green. And go in this direction. Then another green. And go like this. Okay, and I'm going to continue until I finish this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. And now you see what I'm missing here, a seed bead and a blue super duo. And I will add them and slide them down like this. Then I will turn the super duo in this direction. I'm going through its empty hole like this. And then I go through the white and through the green in this direction. What I need to take here are three green beads. Three of them. And I go back through this green one here like this. Then what I do is that I go through the white, then through the other hole of the white and through the purple. Okay, and I'm here. Now I need to take five green beads. And I'm going to take my clasp here, part of my magnetic clasp. You could use regular clasp if you want and I'm going through its hole slide those down and I'm going to take five more seed beads okay then I'm going through this blue one like this then I'm going to reinforce this by going around several times Okay, in this direction, then I'm going backwards. And my goal is to exit here, like this I will remove this bead not to be on my way all the time and now I'm doing the reinforcement here
Okay, guys, now I go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. Here I make a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following bead and by the way you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following bead and cut your thread now put your needle here at this tail thread again make a knot and cut your thread and then add new thread to this part and make absolutely the same thing that I showed you here and your bracelet will be ready okay guys and as I continue beading my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials thank you so much for watching bye bye from me